In this demo, I'll share with you how Databricks makes it super simple to explore and govern your data and then publish it directly to Power BI for reporting. Let's get started. This is the Catalog Explorer, where all of our structured and unstructured data is managed. In the Fabricon Catalog, I have created a schema called Airline Data Pearl Uberu that houses all my tables, volumes, models, and functions. I already have a few key tables. In the airports table, I can see airport information about the city, state, country, and IATA code. There's also a lot of information in the flights table about the year, the month, the departure times, and more about flights that were taken. And lastly, in the lookup codes table, we can see unique codes that align to specific airlines. Additionally, we can see that there was some data modeling done because there's a primary key established on the unique code column. Along with the structured tables, we have the ability to use volumes. Volumes give us the ability to leverage tabular or non-tabular data quickly. Here's a volume called raw airline files that contains the same airline data we saw earlier, but in a CSV format. If I wanted to turn these into tables, I could do so with just a click of a button. Now, let's take a closer look at the flights table. You'll notice Databricks allows you to automatically generate column descriptions. This makes it easier to understand the columns of the tables without manually documenting each table. Security and access control are critical when working with enterprise data. Here in the permissions tab, I can see exactly who has access to this table and what level of permissions they have. I can grant or revoke privileges to users and groups of users as well. Databricks also provides a visual entity relationship diagram showing how tables are connected. This makes it easier to see primary and foreign key relationships, like how the flights table connects to the airports table through airport codes. Now, let's publish this table to Power BI. We'll leverage a serverless warehouse and then we'll connect to our Power BI workspace. Direct Query allows us to connect seamlessly, and semantic models can be configured to utilize OAuth with single sign-on. This allows individual user identities to flow into Unity Catalog and ensures that permissions are honored for each dashboard query and audited end-to-end. -end. Now that we're in Power BI, we can see that the relationships between tables, they've carried over. The primary and foreign key constraints that we saw in Databricks are preserved, making it super easy to start building reports. So let's go ahead and build one. Let's add a few visualizations. Here's a map showing the locations of airports based on our airports table. And with just a few clicks, I can create a bar chart that breaks down average flight arrival delays by airline using my flights table. In just a few minutes, we explored our data in Databricks, reviewed relationships and governance, and seamlessly published everything to Power BI to generate insights. This workflow simplifies data access keeps governance in place, and ensures teams can quickly analyze and act on their data.